And you can uh, fire away some questions at us. Wow. Question. Okay. It's not really a question, it's a statement. I believe the judge today reversed his ruling on taxes on all field equipment. Okay. I either heard that on the noon news or read it in the Austin paper. So what I, would I, that I, mean? I, I had not heard that, but that, that's good news. <laughs> You're not the only. You're not the only person. You're not the only person in the audience that's heard that. So someone else grabbed me and said they'd heard that on the radio today as well. And I can tell you from what I was able to read real quick is that the comptroller's office is going to appeal those rulings, even if it, if it wasn't reversed today. The comptroller's office is going to appeal that. They'll continue to make those collections, and we'll fix that in the legislature next session if it is over. Rule or the judge's ruling prior to today stays in place. So I know that was about as clear as mud, but okay. I, I, I'm, I'm going to look into that and, and find out. Good. And um, I do have a question. Has our Republican governor left any federal funds on the table for education that were meant for education? No, and I'll take that at no. No, there, there was uh, last session there were some politics being played and gamesmanship, and I'm just going to leave it at that. But some federal dollars were freed up and allocated back into the school system, kind of at a last minute. It was really budget money for the last biennium that was due to the school districts anyways, uh, and it was distributed and allocated during 2011, I think early spring, and, and Dwayne may recall when that money was, was finally released. But there was some politics going on between a Democratic member of Congress and our Republican governor, and cooler heads finally prevailed, prevailed and we got that money back into education where it belonged in the first place. Good. Other questions? <laughs> I tried to be nice. I... And I'm not sure, maybe this is a question for Dwayne, but as I saw those slides, there's 419,000, I believe, shortage projected for next year. I'm just curious, based on where we are now and what's not going to happen, where is that going to come from? Well, currently we have 1.6 million in fund balance, and uh, we will create a budget. Uh, we will be looking at additional cuts, but at the end of the day, because we are so lean on every single campus, and whenever I say lean, I'm talking instructional lean every, every place. We, have, we were addressing inefficiencies since 2007. And so at the end of the day, at the end of the 2012-13 school year, we're hoping that we can make up that 411, but it doesn't look possible, so we will have to go into fund balance. Because right now, I am just not going to ask another principal to look deeper for cuts. Not whenever it can affect student achievement and instruction across the board.
ta if your net tax revenue gets to the fourteen point one million dollar mark, mm -hmm. and you get very, you still get a very little state aid on top of that, you've now got a little bit more than fourteen point one. That blue box goes away. Your state aid for that portion goes away because now you can get there by yourself. Okay, so now here's where my question comes. Okay. How much do we actually need? How much do we need to raise in Wimberley so that the quality of education for our kids is as high as it is everywhere else without making the teachers work literally, I mean, beyond what could ever imaginably be expected, which is what I see on a regular basis. And I'm one of those parents that's at the school all the time. So that's my question is, what do we actually need? How much money do we need to make this happen? That's the number I would like to hear. If we need to raise taxes, I want to know how much it needs to be. Well, if you, if you maxed our tax rate at this point uh, by taking it to a dollar seventeen, we'd generate somewhere around not quite a million, but then you would be looking at yeah, it's like five hundred and forty thousand. Correct me, Randall. Am I right? Am I right, Randall? So if if we uh, went out for a tax uh, application election for the eight additional pennies that you have on your dollar seventeen mo cap, it would generate about a million, and we'd keep about five hundred forty thousand. So if we had five hundred forty thousand, it would it would take care of the deficit that we have now uh, to bring us back to where we were in 10-11 is going to take much more than 540,000 I guarantee you uh, we, could, we could definitely use here's the way I look at it, we could use half of our Robin Hood pay I mean 1.5 million would give us a huge boost but that's just not possible so you know, that's, that's, that's the reality of where we're at right now. 